Leslie, welcome. Thank you so much for being here with me. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to talk with you. So for the people who are new here, welcome. So happy that you're here. Um, I've started doing these little interviews with people that have been part of my new album, Remember You Dreaming. So far, I did one with Mike Love, um, the featuring artist on one of my songs. I just did an interview with my mom, who is a violin player uh, on the album. And now I'm talking with my friend Leslie, whom I know from prison, actually. Not that we were in prison together, <laughs> locked up, but we're both teachers in prison. And that's where I first met him. Uh, he's an amazing photographer. And he actually did the, the album cover for my album. Um, so I'm so happy to have you here. So yeah, first of all, I just wanted to talk with you a bit about that because I, I approached you and, and I eventually said, I would like to do um, a picture under the water. <laughs> and yeah. you never did that before. What, what was your first thought when I, when I came with that idea? Uh, first thought was cool. Uh, it was my first time, so it was challenging. Uh, but I was, I was, I was happy. Uh, I liked the idea uh, when you told me what your idea was. And I think from from the get go, I said, "Yeah, let's go, let's try it." Uh, so it was my first time because normally I just make pictures or portraits, um, normal portraits in the studio and on on location. So first time making pictures on the water. Uh, it was challenging, but I really liked it. I really liked it. Yeah. Yeah, and it was it was definitely a journey because we ended up actually doing it uh, in two times. We had to do it over. <laughs> yeah. I actually thought it was kind of funny, you know, because I I came to you with this this concept of okay, this album is really about going from darkness to light. It really. Yeah describes these these times of the dark night of the soul and being lost and being found and um, I wanted to somehow portray that in the album cover and I had this idea of sort of like diving deep as these songs dive deep as well um, and then have my eyes wide open sort of like this symbol of going in the water inside the unconscious mind yeah um, and you never done pictures underwater I never done pictures underwater and I must say I kind of underestimated it Me too. And I was just like <laughs> oh we're gonna do this and I remember in the beginning it, like we were both feeling like we were almost drowning <laughs> like there was this panic moment for it was for... a point of time that i thought i was drowning but <laughs> you had the same thoughts of feeling uh and we shared it uh, uh above the water but the the the, the technique your your, your your breath control also to have a control uh over the the, the, the camera and, uh, as well because you can't see well on the water uh, so it was all the combination of everything and I, I started to panic, you know, yeah. you know maybe I'm going to drown, <laughs> maybe today's going to be my last day. <laughs> oh, so yeah. I was trying, yeah, I was uh, starting to panic and, 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 and when you start to panic, you, you start to lose everything because mm -hmm. you don't have faith in, in yourself anymore. Uh, so it, it was, it was a time, it was a point of time where I started panicking, but we did use a, a great technique it was a suggestion of you right uh yeah the wind the, yeah the, the wind yeah. yeah it was it was it wasn't it wasn't a meditation right it, no it? yeah it well it's, it's a sort of but it's this breathing technique uh, breathing technique which, indeed, yeah. which enables you to hold your breath underwater longer yeah i think it's it's it, and it helped it really it, helped it, yeah we started to doing it together and i think it was also the joining I, I think it was just such so symbolic for the journey of like oh life you know i'll just go through it and everything's fine and those stages of like oh my god i feel like i'm drowning like we have that in life as well where it just seems so hard and then yeah we had to come together and like i thought it was very symbolic of us like breathing together, together. like we we're really looking at each other okay like one two three you're ready yes okay let's do it let's and go. then dive in um and then you know the second time along i felt there was just so much more uh confidence and like you said faith and you even had this big dumbbell of like 10 kilograms or something it didn't work <laughs> 
<laughs> you have to launch your camera because you would come up all the time. And... I would come up all the time. Yeah, I would come up all the time. I, I, I think that the, the, the clothes the clothes that I had on, the, the clothes, I think it wasn't the right clothes, I think. Uh, yeah. I think there was a problem, right? <laughs> I think, yeah, something something made you come up again all the time. But but eventually, I mean, like, I'm so happy with, with the end result and the whole process as well. I really love yeah. it. And I, yeah. I've been getting great feedback. And I think it just, yeah, it really portrays. It, it's so different than what I thought at first, like the post that I wanted. Because um, I thought something like looking in the camera and something. Yeah, you know, I think yeah different I think ideas. But yeah, yeah, your first really, idea was indeed looking at, at a camera yeah. but i think that the, the the challenging thing about that was also uh, your face facial expression as well your yeah. pose uh I, I, we didn't thought that very well i think because <laughs> you're underwater and you have to feel comfortable to pose and your face facial expression is also very important yeah. but if you think you're, you're drowning yeah i think you have another facial expression i don't think there will be a great cover picture it'd be awkward indeed right uh, but eventually like that that image of diving in the water i think that's exactly what this what this album is saying as well it's like diving into the mind and yeah. expressing the the dark times expressing so honestly like my own process from from fear to love um yeah. and i love also the little element of sort of like my hands like that it it, it reminded me of how people describe who have lucid dreams um what they do to practice a dreaming lucid so waking up in their nighttime dreams is to mm -hmm. during the day look at their hands like that and they train their minds to um when when they do that in their dreams as well at night they'll they something happens with their hands okay. and makes them realize that they're dreaming okay and you can wake up in your dreams basically mm. and it's this technique i i haven't mastered it yet but i read about it um, so I thought it was, that was another and ad. Is that only uh, when you have a nightmares or just in general? No, it's when just you're in dreaming? general. It's this practice of learning how to wake up yeah. while dreaming. So About, you, can, okay. you know, do whatever you want, basically. Because yeah. you dreaming. never see your hands indeed. When yeah. You're that's, yeah, that's or, true. I never really thought of it. I don't that dream that yet. often or <laughs> maybe I don't. No, I don't dream that often. I just don't <laughs> remember the dreams. It's also possible. But, I would love to learn how to dream lucid, you know, and, and you can just fly and do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, I, I read about it. I read this book and, and they, they said, you know, like you need to practice, like looking at your hands and turning them around. And then when you do that in your dreams, you'll you'll wake up something like that. Up. I don't okay. know. It's just a little cool. okay. edit cool. symbolism of waking up, lucid dreaming. I will keep um, it in mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the album called remember you dreaming remember yeah. yeah anyways just so happy to have worked with you on this and uh and i just yeah, want to dive a little yeah. bit deeper and um and talk with you more about your your life your work and everything you do your prison work as well i would love to talk with you about that but yeah. maybe first we can just go to um you know your passion for photography i know you're uh, totally self-taught which is yeah. so cool so maybe you can tell me a bit more about you know where your love for photography for photograph um, yeah it, it's it started very very late i think i started yeah i started in 2013 um i was a musician uh before uh making pictures really uh, i didn't yes. even know that i started at a young 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 age i started as a you? dancer uh wow. at the age of four uh, my brother the uh, my brother used to rap with his uh, with his friends and i was like the the, the dancer of the crew what uh, i never knew that's so the, cool. yeah, it was the early 90s doing the running man and break dancing so yeah. that's how I started uh, in the music business. And at a point of time, I started to write my own music. Oh, first, my brother used to write all my music and he learned me how to write uh, music and uh, the, the, the bars and the chorus and everything, the bridge, how to build up your, your music. So at a point of time, I started writing my own music. I started in, in English, but uh, as a young boy, um, 
yeah, my English didn't went so far, <laughs> you know. So I started to switch to uh, uh, Dutch. Uh, got uh, inspired by the Dutch rapper Extins, mm. and I did it for a very, very long time. I performed at Paradiso, uh, so crazy places, made video clips, uh, won uh, Ainu Ain bars as well all the things but at the, this was a point of time that i had enough of of of, of everything uh, i like i like making music uh, and performing but the whole scene everything around it i didn't like mm. uh, as a young boy you, you, you see you're watching television and got inspired by your mtv raps all the musicians and then the black people that you used to see only at that time Mm -hmm. uh, now it's different, you know, <laughs> uh, but the whole thing, everything around the music business, I didn't like. Uh, so I uh, started yeah, losing my love for music, uh, making music or music industries, uh, should I say. Mm -hmm. And at a point of time, I was just walking around, self-searching, uh, what do I like? Um, what makes me happy. And we, we bought a camera to film all the performances. So we can always look back, analyze our performance, uh, performances, how we move, uh, the interaction with the, with the crowd. But the camera had also functioned to make pictures. So that's where the, 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 the photography, uh, the photography start and started making pictures at my free time. And um, you just once, yeah, chilling, hanging out, hanging out with friends and making party pictures, uh, <laughs> birthday pictures, end up in clubs, uh, doing concert um, at daytime and started involving. And right now I'm making pictures in the studio, portrait, portrait on location and teaching uh, photography at, at the, the prison and at schools. So there's the whole evaluation of evaluation of, of, of less ado. <laughs> making pictures okay. so that's how it started but my bass my yeah yeah i would say everything started with music my, i still have passion for music listening to music mm. uh, daily uh all types of music uh in the morning listening to gospel afro house uh, airfield tunes pop music uh, everything that has to do with music i like melodies i like uh, storytelling um so everything, I was raised with music, so uh, I will never stop listening to music. It's, it's, it's everything, it's the basis um, of being me. Uh, so that's how it started. And right now, I think I'm, yeah, 2013, I said, so almost, yeah, nine years um, doing photography. Yeah, and I like it. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just the new me. And, um what i've what i've learned by myself is that when the the, the time that i'm i used to make music i love storytelling um mm. of course as a, as an mc you have some brag and boast uh songs you know <laughs> as an mc but i will i'll always like to to, to tell some things this is storytelling mm. it, it has music has to have a message so, but I see that also in my pictures as well, that every thing that I do, it has always has a story that has a message. Um, so I think uh, it isn't only about music, but I think it's about storytelling. Yeah. And that's sure. what I use as well, also in the prison as well. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Can you share some more about that? Because I also, I watched a few of your videos and you shared that um photography is really like a like a power like you can really it's it's well I I teach songwriting in prison and I also always say like it's it's just a tool right it's yeah. not a goal and I think the same goes for you that it's not the goal to make it, it isn't it's it not isn't. the goal to teach them yeah. how to use a camera but I know you've done some really powerful projects in there where um the boys get to make a self portrait and self-portrait yeah. determine how like how are you portraying yourself right yourself, like, yeah. that's, it's that storytelling again like what yeah. story are you telling about yourself I think that also determines of 
how you view yourself, how you um, how you behave even, right? If you tell this yeah. story of I'm this criminal and I'm guilty and I'm rather than to say like, hey, I'm somebody that deserves love and I'm yeah. you know, here to share inspiration or I don't know, like, can you share a bit more about how you use photography as a tool for- Yeah, as you said, I, I just use it as a tool and uh, not, not as a, a goal. Um, the storytelling I use, um, which you just told, uh, just, just described, um, the, the mood the guys are in, uh, are they happy? Uh, are they sad? Are they mad? Okay, so how can you portray that in, in a picture? The mm -hmm. mood that you're feeling. And that's the way how I teach them to, uh, to have self-control. Because right mm -hmm. now you're mad, but... Um, the next time you'll be happy but what's your facial expression mm. it, it, it is easy to to be mad and be mad uh, about everything and complaining about the system uh, okay but how would you portray yourself uh, as a mad uh, prisoner um and when you and when i print the picture you look you can you have the time to reflect as well you see your facial expression you see the 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 the, the, the I think the facial expression and, and also the mood that you are that you're at that moment. And right. most of the times the guys just want to take a second picture. Okay, no, uh, I'm not always mad. I, I want to make oh, a, a photo where, where, where I'm smiling so I can send it to my, my parents or right. my mother. Um, so you're I'm, not trying to trying to change them first when when no. they're mad it's like okay you're mad cool not okay like allow it to be there and then they'll eventually want to Sure. yeah because different it's, side of them yeah because uh, i think you cannot always be happy you know yeah there are times that, that you are mad that you're sad or you're in your feelings and that's that's normal but you have to also know right. how to control it and how to get out of it the the, the mood because you cannot be mad like 24 or 7 you know i'm a hardcore rapper i'm a driller yeah whatever <laughs> you all you also sleep you also eat you also have a girlfriend or, or partner um so i don't think you're always mad also with your partners all right <laughs> always mad right. around your family members uh, yeah. and what is their reaction when when um when you allow them to show those emotions when you allow them to to be mad you know where they're used most of the times well you know i work in prison as well and, and yeah. it, it, it it seems a lot of times like like um they're expected to behave in a certain way, right? They're yeah. not really, oh, you're mad. Okay, allow it to be there. Or like that is like sort of this safe place for every emotion, right? It's not prison to me. It's like like one of the least safe places in the yes. sense of not safe, like, like being in danger, but safe as in uh, being vulnerable, right? Yeah. It's definitely a, often not a very safe place to show um that true emotions that or yeah. you know you know allow that to be there so and i think you tend to really do create that sort of safe space in your class yeah. and can you share maybe you have a beautiful example of of something that is still in your mind but uh the, oh. their reactions you know like what how do you see that effect on them that you allow them to feel whatever is well, there in the moment well, um, the person I am, I was trying to be honest to them and just to be myself. If I don't know something, I, I just don't, I don't know. Um, they also want to know how much money that I make or, earn, okay. you know, I wouldn't tell them by specific, you know, <laughs> okay. but I give them a direction. Um, but just be honest, just be honest to them. And, and, and that's so that you can also create a, a safe place you know because mm -hmm. um, at, at the place that she said is it, it isn't always safe but uh when they come to my classroom i just trying to create an, an open space for them you can be yourself um or well, an experience that i had one of them that very stick into my head it was a, a young guy who was very talented uh, first i'm making pictures and he used to do stick-ups <laughs> that is what he said he's also told me but um after the, the 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 workshop he just came to me and said well this is the class is very tough i didn't expect it 
and this is much fun uh, of yeah fun than uh, sticking up people of robbing shops you know so that that was an <laughs> it was a compliment in a kind of way you know <laughs> And he also told me that he's going to do it often. I don't know if he if he still does it, but um, it showed me that um, that they also have feelings. Yes, they also want to do something that is fun and doing something by themselves. Uh, because most of the time it's because of peer pressure that they, they, they are facing and do stuff, you know. But um, he could reflect it and, and, and see, if, okay, this is also fun. This is maybe also something that I'm very good in, a talent that he uh, discovered. Um, so that was one of the great experiences that I had, and it's always stuck, uh, stuck into my head. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like, yeah, you can rob people, or you can just take nice pictures of them. Nice picture, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and uh, what I also have is that you have sometimes at the beginning of the of, the, of your of your workshop if you at your class you have the the, the hardcore guys the guys that yeah. are very big the, the alpha guys you know um, they don't want to participate but at the end of the lesson you know he's he's, he's the leader of of of, of making pictures <laughs> uh, taking a lot of pictures and want to print five pictures yeah because um, i just let them be themselves and the i also make pictures of them they make pictures of themselves and they can also print it so they have also something that is visible and it's something they can take it with them as well yeah. um, so i think that's that helps also as well oh that's beautiful yeah i love it you know i always get so inspired by the work in prison i always say it's like a boot camp for my mind and like they they teach me so much as well like it's, yeah. it's really i don't i see them as my teachers and uh, i'm sure you you feel the same way a lot of times yeah a lot of times a lot of words <laughs> <laughs> a lot of slangs and everything i always come with new words and then my wife knows that yeah i've been into prison <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the same thing. Yeah, I love it. And so, I I wonder also, like as a being a photographer, is did that also change your perception on on the world? I can imagine now that you know, you, do you see pictures everywhere, or like do because it's yeah. it, it's like really, um, in what way are you looking at the world? Right, you can you can just see all negativity negativity or bad things, or you can see like, oh, this is actually a beautiful picture. Or, like, in what way did photography change your life and your? I view? think in in situations, your, your point of view, making pictures. You know, you can stand on the table and make a picture, make a beautiful picture, but you can also make a picture from eye level. Mm -hmm. also underneath we call it in, in dutch kicker perspective um and that's how you look at how you can look at a situation if you have a discussion with someone um the point of view you also have to replace yourself into someone else you know mm. we are all different we have all different culture um, even though a brother and sisters are raised in the same household they still have an, another perception or uh, um, different ideas you know even twins don't have, don't have a, the same idea uh, or uh, vision so you can always uh, that that's what i've learned point of view just just have to relax and replace yourself in someone else how does that person see it and and, and is it his mistake maybe this is mm. how he look at the situation because of how he was raised or how he see things you know and it depends on where you are standing are you the victim mm. you know so or are you the spectator <laughs> so you, you just point of view uh what i also have to learn what i've also have learned is to be patient because making pictures patient analyzing things the situation and making pictures and then looking back at the picture also reflecting as well um yeah. so analyzing things point of view reflection you always have to look back at your picture you yeah. always have to look back at your picture and, and see the colors the composition um and do i always see pictures yes i always see i always see okay this this looks look good okay the, the, the combination is, is cool uh, the by the way are those are those are all, all yours the pictures yeah right? yeah oh, oh awesome. yeah 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 my all my 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 pictures is just my my trademark is colorful 
but uh, yeah, we are now just at home, and I want to just and and and, and yeah, how do you say the quiet environment? So that's why I chose to uh, print it black and white. Yeah. But that's how I I, I see it. Uh, yeah, that's how I see it. And even right now, looking at your screen as well, I see also the color combination. You know, the, the <laughs> color that you have on uh, also comes back to it at the background. Yeah, that's all well thought of. Yeah, uh, I, I can see that. <laughs> now I see it too. Yeah. Right. So that's something that I always see, the, right. the color combination. Right. And your composition, you know? Right. The scene before the window and uh, the, I think on the right side is your speaker, the table. The table comes also back in the chair, I think, behind you or table. Right. Yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> It's just well, by the way <laughs> i love what you're saying about yeah the different perspectives and how you learn as a photographer like okay yeah you can look at it from this point of view or this point yeah. of view or above or below yeah that's beautiful that's beautiful and i'm sure now like you can use all of that knowledge um you just became a father recently for the yeah. first time, right? You guys first, first, first baby. So how is that? I can imagine yeah, like, your whole world is just upside down for, for it is. Everything has changed, you know. Uh, it was it was a beautiful experience. Uh, it was also difficult, it's also hard. Uh always had respect for women, but right now the respect level is hundred <laughs> thousand, you know. <laughs> Uh, the whole process of carrying a child for, for nine months, the birth, everything. But it, it, it is a blessing. It is a blessing uh, to have uh, a child, uh, something that is that's from you, from you and your partner, you know. Yeah. It's an extension. It's an, the new generation. Yeah. Um, it, it is beautiful. It is. Yeah, it is. It is it's, it's also hardworking. Yeah, I'm sure. It's nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't regret it. Uh, I don't know. No, no, no. uh, so uh, she's three months right now. Uh, uh, Jaden. So uh, she's, she's growing very well and she's doing it also good and yeah. growing day by day. So uh, yeah, it's, it is a blessing. Oh, I love to hear that. I love it. And share a little bit more about your, your recent projects. Um, the I Am series. I yeah. really loved, I saw a video of it. And maybe you can share a little bit more about that and people can check that out. Yeah, the I Am project started at uh, started um, in 2020. Yeah, so as well, it was two, two, two years ago. Um, it was after the death of George Floyd um after the death yeah death of george floyd all the demonstrations of uh, black lives matter um the protesting but also online protesting mm -hmm. um and some of the actions that was i am a black man mm -hmm. where a uh, black male posted a black and white picture of himself with an inspirational text and tagging five other uh people five other men and that's how I started to also to participate. Uh, first of all, I didn't want to um, post it something because I was like, yeah, it is enough. Um, all the posting, you know, what can you contribute? What will it solve or what will it do? Mm -hmm. uh, kind of more hope, hopeless or. Yeah, you know, because yeah. you know that if something happened, everyone has something to say. Everyone is an expert right. <laughs> as an opinion um but uh, i just i just spoke with my wife and, and she said yeah just just do it and i wanted to post an, an, an recent picture a new picture of myself because i see i saw that all the guys were posting old pictures and turning to black and white but i just wanted a uh, picture that's new a picture that was something that was um it's something that tells, tells something about me uh, on eye level uh, i wanted to to show the world that I am a human being. And although I'm a black man, I was born and raised in the Netherlands. So I am part of um, this, this whole world, this, this, this country. Um, although my, my parents are from Ghana, I still am a Dutch man because I was born and raised here. Uh, so the vulnerability, I also wanted to show them. So that's why I made a picture where I didn't have any shirt on. 
mm -hmm. uh, where you can see the, the, the facial expression and also the, the body parts to show people that I'm also a human being and I, I am part of, 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 of this country. Uh, I posted the picture, uh, received a lot of likes and also uh, positive comments. A few friends that wanted the same picture or the same uh, way. And that's how I got the idea to make uh, this portrait. Uh, first, I was focusing on, on the man. And I thought, nah, um, this whole problem isn't about only the men. It's also about our women as well, the black uh, woman as well. So I think in one week, I contacted a lot of people on my list. And in total, it was 111 people that I've portrayed wow. uh, in, in three days' time. Yeah. And we, yeah, and we posted the picture at uh, was it the the, the 20, was it the twenty second of August? Um, it was exactly three months after the death of George Floyd. We posted all the picture at at twelve o'clock, and and it just went viral. Mm. And just went viral, and there's still people that want the same picture. It has become a trademark. Yeah, yeah, but very funny because my my pictures are colorful. <laughs> right. But this has become a trademark, and uh, I like it. So, uh, um, yeah, so 111 people. Uh, I think right now I have I think 160 people that I have portrayed. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. The pictures are just so beautiful. They they like you said they they tell a story just with just with the look of the eyes and yeah. Um, and you even made it into uh, like a museum. You had an exposition. Yeah, which... this is my first solo exposition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in awesome. Foam, the, the biggest uh, museum here uh, in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. If we talk about photography, this also was also a big dream of my of, of, of me uh, as a self taught uh, photographer that comes out of uh, Amsterdam Southeast. You know, <laughs> yeah. that people see as the ghetto. So, um, hmm. but it was one of my dreams and, and it just came true. Uh, I just, I just find it so inspiring and so beautiful. Like, again, it's, it's just like what you said before, really. Um, this is just an example of it. I think of where a situation is just so, so incredibly um, hard and, and, yeah. and terrible, you know, that, that happened and that, that is still, that we're still living in, in, in a world where these things are, are not actually so so weird you know like yeah. it's not like just one time that this happened right and uh, no this is, this is a lot of time yeah and and that you see that and are touched by that but then again you use photography to s sort of like channel that and yeah. and hurt and that pain and make it in into something so beautiful that that in, into art you know and I think yeah. that's 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 what artists can do like that's yeah. that's our superpower right to turn tra tragedy into something beautiful that can can inspire people and yeah. lift people up and you've done you can use it as, a, as a voice to just voice up you know use yeah. it as, as a voice to speak up your mind to speak about something to speak against something okay. And it started all organic, you know, it, yeah. it was it was a true feeling. It wasn't like, yeah, I won't, I planted it, you know, yeah, it just organic. Yeah, I just allowed it to, to happen. I just allowed it to, yeah, yeah, and, and, and let the universe speak, you know, uh, and, and it did because it was the first time in a museum that you had a black photographer from Amsterdam, Southeast, self taught with black people in a museum. You know, yeah. it's the first time in it's 2020. I mean, come on. There are a lot of black photographers, but yeah, it's the first time. So it's uh, so cool. Like, I'm so, I mean, like, of course, this, this should have been there already, yeah. but yeah. it's still so cool that, that you did this and that yeah. it's here and, yeah. and that you use this for, um, yeah, channeling that into the work that you did. It's just so beautiful. And I, yeah, really love it. So happy for you and everyone mm. that is touched by it. So amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I, I feel like, you know, I can, I can talk with you uh, all night, but I kind of feel like we, we can wrap it up here. I feel so inspired by everything you shared. Thank you cool. so much.
Is there yeah. anything else you feel to share? Anything coming up or um, I'll definitely put into the description, you know, for people that aren't living so far, they can book you to be yeah. a photographer for anything. Weddings, I know you do. That's your specialty as well. Weddings, as well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 events, yeah. anything. Yeah, for, for, for right now, I don't have a special project. What I had before the birth of my daughter is uh some some, some which concepts. is your special special project your your super special project yeah, yeah. the best <laughs> project so far probably. yeah yeah no i just want to do more storytelling with, with portraits or something that um that always tells my Ghanaian culture my, my african culture but also the western culture so i want to combine uh those culture in, in portraits uh, and it could be something with clothes, it could be with people. Uh, so that's the, the thing that I'm going to expire, uh, uh, doing experimental things with, with both cultures. So, but it, it, it isn't right there right, right now, but that's the thing that I want to do, more of them. Um, and for right now, I don't have other projects. You can book me uh, through... Uh, my website and, and, and Instagram. And before I leave, I just want to give you a compliment for the great artwork that yeah. you have delivered. Uh, not only the, 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 the songs, the songs are, are beautiful as well. Thank you. So but much. the whole artwork, you know, the whole artwork, it isn't common anymore that people um, presses CDs anymore. Right. <laughs> Everything is digital. And I, yeah. Just come from the area that you have a booklet in your, in your hands and you can watch through the booklet. You can see who was produced, who yeah. was who was helped with writing, you know. It was all those things. You can't find it anymore. You can see on Spotify who produced a song, you know. Yeah. Um, and I come from that area. So um, going to free record shop or fame, listening to music yeah. and going back at home and <laughs> memorizing the song. <laughs> But I just want to give you a compliment, and it, it is more than an artwork, it's just a book, you know, it's, it's just crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so when yeah. I received, I, I saw, saw this, this in my, at home, and I was like, wow, this is, this, this is crazy, how you just went 100, you, you gave 100%, more than 100%, you just went all out at this age of time could also be seen as a risk you know people don't want to, everyone wants to know what your spotify is of your soundcloud is sure. um a lot of people don't even have a cd recorder anymore or player i, I still I have know. though i really i don't even have a cd player anymore. i do in the car <laughs> oh, but, but i i just i'm i'm so with you i love to still have something physical and and i love also the the to see something, you know, that it's not just, I mean, music, of course, I mean, I'm a musician and it's, 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 it's just one of the most awesome ways to channel God, I feel, you know, <laughs> but, yeah. but to art as well. And, and I feel that there are so many people um, doing the same thing that I'm doing, using their skills to extend the love that they truly are, you know, that's what you're doing as well. And, and I kind of felt like, if, if we all come together and we all have that loving heart and that intention of, of sharing a joy through our art and we, yeah. we, we combine our power, you know, then it's only going to be greater. So I felt with, with this book and that's why I love doing these interviews because I wanted to show people, you know, that it, this is a work of art involving so many people, so many different people. Um, yeah, I think it's it's just so much greater that now there's so many people that are in it, like artists and different musicians and even the poetry yeah. and everything. Um, so, yeah, but thank you so much. And I'm so happy that you're part of it and that I got to work with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you for, for, for having me on this project. <laughs> uh, thank you once again. <laughs> and I really like the artwork, you know, it, it even has an ESBN number, I see. <laughs> It does. it does yeah you can oh, get cool. it. There's a shop here that's actually selling it here one of oh. my favorite shops here in rotterdam no but uh no, no. but yeah i'll see you soon i'll see you again uh i'll see you in prison <laughs> yes <in> prison <laughs> okay thank cool. you so thank you for having me
Thank you. Yeah, take care. <laughs> oh, bye bye.